Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for bestebookreaders.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install third-party applications on your Kindle Fire HD. As you know, Kindle Fire, the Kindle Fire HD doesn't have Google Play Store uh, installed per, as, as your default store. You get your apps from the Amazon App Store. It's a, it's a decent app store. It doesn't have all the apps. That's the main problem people seem to be having with the Kindle Fire HD and also the previous Kindle Fire. The, the good news is that you can all actually download applications and install. Uh, Google Play is going to be a little bit more complicated because not only you have to download apps, you need to do it to a device that has Google Play and then the Google Play Store and then from there you have to transfer files to a Kindle Fire and do some small tweaks to get it to work. But for other stores such as Gitjar or SlideMe, you really don't need to do that. You just have to, they may require you to have an account, but that's all there is to it. So before you even do anything, you have to enable third party applications on your Kindle Fire. The way you do it is go to the top, you swipe down, you go to your device. So it's settings, device, and then here, when you get your Kindle Fire, it's going to be off. You turn it on, it gives you a warning saying that there are going to be risks and there are going to be risks. You, you need to make sure you get apps from people you trust or have some track record in the past or apps that other people have reviewed. So once you do that, you go to, I my go to a slide me, which is my favorite and not all the apps here are going to be available. You're going to realize which ones are not even if you don't read all these information down there by the application. Once you install the app and once you download it and you try to open it and it can't, you can't open it, usually that means that, that probably the app is not going to work on your tablet. But let's, let's just install this. So you download and then you go to the download section. It shows you what the application is going to do to your storage network, phone calls, system tools, all that. You're basically giving it permission to use these. And you want to pay attention to every time you download an app, you want to make sure you read this to make sure you don't download, you haven't downloaded the rogue application. So I say install and open. And that's about it. This is an app for playing music. I haven't tested it really. I just wanted to show how you can download apps to your Kindle. And, and if you want to remove it, you just go to apps. You hold your finger on it and you say remove from device. Now the neat part is since this is not This is not a Kindle, an Amazon App Store application. It doesn't sit in the cloud. So when you delete it, it's, it's gone. Whereas the other apps, if I delete them from my, if I delete this one, let's say, which one? Let's say I delete paper camera from my device. If I go to the cloud, it's going to be still be available. It just doesn't have that tick. So I it can download it again. Whereas with the other app, it just is completely gone. So that's about it. I, I hope you enjoyed it for the Google play store. There are a couple of extra steps. I'm going to include an excellent article that someone has already written. I, don't want to cover exactly what somebody else has done 
and you guys can just follow there's a couple of steps you need to have a tablet that has google play and transfer files to a kindle fire but the first step that i showed you from the settings device section is the most important one if you don't do that you're not going to be able to accomplish anything on as far as the third party app stores are concerned thank you for watching for feedback for comments for app suggestions go to bestebookreaders.com if you like this review and this tip please rate this video and i'll be back with another video tomorrow have a good one guys